Hi, everybody. Uh, today, I'm very excited uh, to have Stanislav from Bulgaria, Alex from France They're here with me today. They're going to be talking about uh, their ex recent experiences they had, and they want to share it with us. I'm, I, I'm, I'm all ears. I can't wait to uh, listen to what they've been up to. So essentially, Stanislav will tell us about his amazing uh, experience uh, he had photographing birds in Colombia, which by the way, I just learned from him that it's, it's, it's the best place to go photograph with most species, amazing. So we'll hear more about that. And then obviously we'll after, uh, after we'll listen to, uh, to our buddy, Alex. Alex just came uh, in, he also had, he mixed the honeymoon and the birding, which I love, he's very, it's, <laughs> I love that. So without further ado, uh, we're going to start with Stanislav. Stanislav, welcome. Tell us about it, man. Anything you want to share, it's welcome. All ears here. Okay. Hi, guys. First, uh, sorry for my English, which is not very good, but uh, I will try to tell you a little about my trip, last trip in Colombia this year. So it's uh, my first time in Colombia. I've been, I told you before, I've been in uh, 110 countries of the world. Uh, and uh, Colombia, it's directly going in my top five. I really like this country. Uh, uh, as you know, there is uh, around uh, 2,000 different species of birds. It's in the first place in the world, Colombia. So uh, I decided to go there. Uh, it's... Uh, I spent there 20, 20, between 22 and 25 days and I was in uh, very different places mm. like habitats, uh, Amazonian River, the Caribbean coast, uh, the high Andy mountains. So Colombia is an uh, amazing country. Yeah, I really like it. It's a very cheap country. Uh, I travel by uh, bus, by plane, by, I rent a car for a few days and uh, yeah, everything is cheap. The accommodation, the sleeps, the uh, the transport is, yeah, it's very, very cheap. So I, I didn't use the guides. I travel alone. Uh, but I was in a few places that they have a feeders and they have a heights, for the, the special lodges for photography. Mm. Uh, after that, I told you about the place. So I started from Bogota, I fly to Leticia. Leticia is in, uh, Amaz is in Amazonia. Mm -hmm. And from there I took a ferry, speed ferry boat to, uh, to one uh, small village called Puerto Narino. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the jungle everywhere. There is no way to go there, only by boat. It's a very small village. Uh, spent there a few days. Uh, so the, the, the river Amazon is very big. Uh, the bank of the river is uh, big and uh, the water is a lot and there is no lot of birds, but uh, on the small rivers around and the lakes, there is a lot of birds and the other different species of, uh, of animals. I saw swats there. I saw uh, pink dolphins and gray dolphins in the one of the lakes. Uh, a lot of a lot of birds, a lot of birds. Yeah, hawks, mm. uh, eagles, mm. few kind of kingfishers. So Amazonia is very wild place, and it's amazing. I I really like it. Amazonia. After that, uh, I take a plane and I go to the Caribbean coast to Santa Marta. Uh, this is a big city, but thirty kilometers from this place, Santa Marta, is a small village called. Minka, uh, he's in the, in the mountains, around uh, 3,000 meters. And only in this area, Minka area, he have around uh, 400 different species of birds. Wow. Uh, yeah, I took there a guide for one day and I, yeah, I saw a lot, of, a lot of species. In all my trip for 22 days, I saw more than 250 different species of birds. So without oh, yeah. a guide. Yeah. For how long was that you saw it? For how many days you said? Uh, me? Yeah, I mean, for how many days you saw 400? 20, 22, 22 days. Okay. You saw how many species? 200 and, uh, yeah, 250. Okay, 250. 
and uh, almost without the guides. With if you take right. the guides, I will right. be there will be a lot of them. Right. So yeah, uh, after after that, after Minka, I take a bus and I go to uh, Cartagena. It is one of the the big city of Colombia. Uh, in the middle of the between two cities, there is one very big uh, zone with wet, wet uh, lands mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the sea that there is a lot of birds uh, that likes water. So I saw there are pelicans, a cormorans. Uh, I don't know uh, what of the names in English, but I saw dunlins and yeah, a lot of, a lot of, yeah, uh, a lot of birds. In Cartagena, interesting is that in the middle of the city, in the heart of the city, there is small park very small you you may look uh, on the park for five minutes and oh, okay 10 minutes and you will see all the park but on this place i saw seven they, they have seven slots on the trees uh, and a lot of iguanas do you know slots what's what does it yes mean? yes 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 yes, 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 yes. okay this so, I think that's yeah uh, yeah a lot of iguanas woodpeckers and Interesting that this this place is in the middle of the city. It's it's very strange, but yeah. Uh, and after after Cartagena, I go to one of the best places for me in Colombia. It's Jardín. It's close to Medellin. It's very strange because I go by a bus there because uh, Jardín is a small village, and uh, from Medellin it's only. 140, 150 kilometers, mm -hmm. but it take around six hours because the route is not good. Uh, now in Colombia, they make a lot of new roads and after years will be good, I think. But now, mm -hmm. yeah, everywhere they have a uh, mount something and yeah. So in Hardin, I see uh, this amazing bird, cock of the rock, this, mm -hmm. uh, and the cock of the rock. Uh, and uh, there is a place that one old, old women feed the birds. I saw there for endemic endemic birds for Colombia, uh, like uh, Cardinal, Red Cardinal, and few other more. A lot of Tangaras and the place was amazing. Uh, this place in, in Harding. After Hardin, my trip is not only for uh, for uh, birding and for photography. I wanted to go to see the how people live, uh, to see the country, everything. Mm -hmm. But but I saw a lot of people uh, birds. Yeah, right. So yeah, uh, after that uh, I going to the more, maybe the most famous place in Colombia, which is Cocora Valley. A lot of people told that. Cocora Valley is the most beautiful place in uh, Colombia and some of the people that I met told that the most beautiful place in the world. So, okay. but for birding, it's not true <laughs> because okay. yeah, I look around, I see the, this palm, Max Palm, one of the Vax Palm, I think very, very high palms. Uh, but uh, for birding is not so good. So for hiking to be in the mountain, uh, only 40 kilometers from Salento is Manizales. This is the place that uh, that is very, very good for birding. And I mm -hmm. went there five days. I was in three lodges there, especially for photography. Uh, yeah, well, one more, maybe the best place for photography for me in Colombia is Color de Mir Aves. This is one watch in the mountain. Mm -hmm. I, I, hide a, I hide a car there for five days to look around because the distance, yeah, you may go by bus, but it's difficult. So mm -hmm. I hide a car. Uh, this place is around uh, 2,050 and 3,000 meters high. Mm -hmm. uh, very wild place. I saw two different species of toucans there. I saw the one bird oscillated tapaculo that is the most difficult bird to see and photography in Colombia. It's she lives in the ground and it's very hard to, to find it. 
she didn't come to the feeders, but I have a, I, I have a look and I saw her and I make a good pictures. And uh, yeah, this place is amazing. A lot of uh, hummingbirds, mountain species and the other around uh, 25 different species of hummingbirds only, mm -hmm. only on this place. Uh, after that, I go to another watch, Tinamo. The name is Tinamo. It's a very good place also. Uh, I wanted to go another famous watch is Hacienda del Bosque, but it was on Sunday and there is fully booked, so I can't go there. Because yeah. not, not by European and American, a lot of Colombian people are going to vacation and to see the nature. The, yeah, they love her nature. I was in one uh, one national park that uh, uh, that they they called me they saw they saw in my backpack the bottle of water plastic and told me here is not uh, not can use the plastic only only glass bottle mm. so yeah and yeah they have a tradition to some of the parks they are closed for uh, two times in years for one month to to uh, I, I don't know how to explain to resurrection the nature I don't know the, to, yeah to so uh, in this, this Hacienda del Bosque I, I can't go but I go to, I was in uh, I go to 400 4200 meters in in the uh, entrance of Volcano uh, Nevado del Ruiz and there I saw one very very difficult to find birds this is called Buffy. Buffy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, I, I mean, you, you're very good at remembering all of this to begin. Yeah. <laughs> Buffy helmet crest. <laughs> Buffy helmet crest is okay. endemic. It's a kind of uh, yeah. colibri, but a uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. mountain. And it's endemic. And, uh, you may see only on this place, in this uh, part of the, the country. Yeah, very hard. To, to find and uh, yeah after after uh, Manizales I going to the south because my trip is finished in Ecuador I spent one week in Ecuador and I going by land there not by plane so I heard about one place again in, in mountains in high mountains the national park Porase it's not very popular I don't met uh, tourists there, but it's uh, I I found in the internet that there they have one couples of uh, Andean condor, and the rangers feed it them two times a week in one rock. They feed it them, and I decide to go there. It's difficult to go in the mountain because there is no buses, and I travel with the locals, and then I back. With uh, on a hitchhiking, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> but I saw Andean condors and yeah. and they are flying around me, five six meters around me. Yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, it's amazing. So a question, a question that I have here: uh, all of this information, it's available on internet, right? To so if you want, yeah. to, it's you can actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's available from internet. Uh, Actually, for these watches in Manizales, I saw a guide. I saw a guide in uh, in Hardin, where is the place with the cock of the rocks. The guide uh, have a group of bird watchers, and I asked him. Uh, we change coordinate coordinates, and I decide when I go to Manizales, I decide to to take a guide, and I call him. But he told me, man, a lot of all, all the guides now are busy. And uh, if you want, I will tell you, I will tell you where you you may go without the guides and make a good photos. So he told me about this place, Color de Minerves, about uh, the volcano to find this uh, bird, uh, Buffy. So mm -hmm. yeah, he he helped me. But uh, more of the information are in the internet. Very nice. Oh, yeah, that's so, it. that's incredible. So you end up in Ecuador eventually, and then from there you yeah. came back to Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah. First, I started in uh, first I started in Cuba for two weeks in Cuba with my family. Sweet. But in Cuba, I saw again I saw uh, hundred and ten uh, 
species, different species, uh, yeah, 70 yeah. and endemic. I start in Cuba, 15 days, then 22 yeah. days, 23 in Colombia, and then seven more in uh, Ecuador. So my trip was a uh, month and a half. Yeah. Yes. I was, I was so interested on, of this conversation that we're having because myself also, I have been in St. Lucia and Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, uh, in St. Lucia, in Jamaica, there was a small feeding station where I could go and photograph, but I was kind of introduced to the possibility. I, I, I didn't go for birding per se. I went for vacation uh, back then with friends. But and then I realized that this could totally be something. It can be bird photography only paradise. Hmm. So that's why I was so interested to hear about the other countries. So hearing you, it's 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 just amazing. So you started in Cuba, moved on to Colombia. Yeah, and then finished in Ecuador. <laughs> finishing, I mean, very cool. And how long did it take you to organize this prior to go, making this happen? Not so long. Maybe, okay. yeah. I. I don't know, but not so long. So yeah, yes, information now. Go now, now, cool. it, Love it. <laughs> now, now it's e now it's easy. I think uh, because yes, no. in internet there is a lot of information. I I can imagine how people are traveling uh, twenty or thirty years ago. But right. I have of experience. So I told you I have one hundred and ten countries. So yeah, I have experience to to find a cheap. Uh, plane tickets and yeah, a lot of- uh, Very cool, yeah. such a good experience. Thank you for sharing stunning stuff. Very okay. cool indeed. We may call upon you to become an organizer maybe. In <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So Alex, your turn, man, please tell us from the beginning, to the, please. Yeah, I think you're, uh, you're muted, Alex. You're muted. Sorry, he's better now, I think. Yes, <laughs> um, one of our dreams with my wife is to, uh, was to um, have our honeymoon in a beautiful country with um, a lot of biodiversity, like birds and mammals, reptiles. So uh, we decided to go to Costa Rica and um, we prepared this trip during maybe three weeks three weeks of preparation to, um, to ask with a local, with natural guide, with, um, with friends who ever came in Costa Rica. And the most uh, important thing is to select the good lodge, the good place to sleep. Because in Costa Rica, there is very few trails to hike alone. Um, it's not like in, uh, in France or maybe in, um, in Albania, because um, if we go outside of the lodge, it's very difficult to see a trace to hike by um, by yourself. Okay. So if you book in a lodge, you will be able to uh, hike inside the lodge. And um, generally, the lodge is um, the lodge have a very huge place of nature and wildlife inside the inside the lodge. A very huge places. And uh, that's why it's the most difficult thing to select the good lodge during the, all the step of the trip. So, um, the, and the most important thing for, for me was to hire a, a natural guide to, um, uh, to, bring, uh, to bring us with him during the, uh, a huge part of our trip, because um, this the guides know the best place to photograph birds and uh, the snakes or the wildlife. And um, there is a, a jungle everywhere. So it's very difficult to see the bird, to see uh, and to photograph them. And that's why we use uh, a natural guide to, uh, to follow us uh, during, the, during this trip. Um, we have to rent a car and a four by four because of the bad road, <laughs> like in the, not, not in all the country, but um, the most of the places that we travel in, uh, phew, man, the, really the, the, the road was really, really bad. So a four by four was necessary. And in, uh, in, in our 
17 days of travel in Costa Rica, we saw uh, almost 250 species. And in this country, there is uh, almost 1,000 species and very, very, um, there is very few, uh, no, th there is some endemic species in Costa Rica. So uh, we, have, we traveled first in San Gerardo de Dota uh, in the high mountain to see it, uh, to try to see and photograph the restaurant Quetzal is the bird just uh, just behind me <laughs> and and uh, uh, um, be, uh, because of our natural guide he find for us the best place to photograph this amazing bird and not not only this one uh, we see some toucans very phew, a lot of hummingbirds a lot of bird of prey and very close to us, the, and the, the nature in that country, all the species uh, are, don't care about humans. You can be at maybe two or three meters of a toucan and it, it doesn't go away. It's, it's, really, it's unbelievable. That's, this is the Costa Rica, <laughs> I think. So we, we travel um, in the south of the country in near from Sierpe, to go on the Pacific area to see some water birds, to see some crocodiles, some mammals and some endemic species. So we went to a place called Baya Drake. This, this Baya is just very close to the National Park of Corcovado uh, with a lot of puma, a lot of sloths, a, a, a lot of birds, a lot of mammals, monkeys. So we went to, we went um, in this area in boat, because it's only in boat that we could go in this area. And it was very amazing. You go in the national park or, um, and all have to be booked with natural guide and private guide because um, it's only with us, um, uh, sorry, it's only with them that we could be um, allowed to enter in I the see. national park. I see. Okay. It's very important. It's 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 very important to know. And we saw a lot of monkeys, a lot of bird of prey in that in that area very close to us. I will try to to share some pictures until uh, <laughs> I have to finish my my selection. Okay. But, <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, uh, then uh, we moved to um, a place called Monte Verde. Uh, it's a very, it's a very interesting area, a very uh, rich place for biodiversity. And one of my dream species was the ornate oak eagle, uh, orange and black uh, eagle. And uh, our natural guide know two places where the this eagle is nesting each year, each year, and each year. Mm -hmm. And the place uh, um, were made for photographers. Oh. So yeah. there is many perch, there is many trees, then, and the, the eagles come very close to us, very close with my, uh, with my camera and lens. I have to go back, <laughs> to go back to try to... Yeah, 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 you need to have a 200 there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, in Costa Rica too, um, there is a lot of river, there is a lot of mangrove, and um, the mangrove and the river can be um, can be visit uh, with boats, and it all all uh, local guides ask us if we want to see a specific species like owls, like uh, I don't know nightjar um, or wet uh, wetland birds or anything. So it's a it's a way of thinking that I that I love so much <laughs> because. Uh, I want to go there and I just say that, oh, I want to take some pictures of uh, a lot of species of kingfisher, for example, and with their boat, uh, they just um, bring, us, uh, bring us with them to, to the places where kingfishers are. So it's very interesting. And uh, then we go to the north of the country uh, near a place called Caño Negro, uh, it's a very huge wetland too, and a very and a dr with a dry uh, with a dry places, and it was amazing, very amazing. So 
that I want to say is the is very, the most important things is to um, ask some local natural guide to ask them uh, what uh, we want to see, we want to photograph because uh, they have all the all the knowledge of this uh, of this part. That's amazing. I mean, uh, I myself also, as mentioned last time on another recording we had with friends, uh, we, I just came from Kenya and uh, I mean, the, the diversity of species. Mm. Uh, me as a photographer and, 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 uh, and the other friends, we were just blown away by how mm. much you can see from uh, mammals to birds and the variety it's so and then you guys talking about uh, about a lot of variety as well which is yeah. very very interesting to hear for uh, uh bird photographers in, in general so i like to thank you guys so much for doing this for taking the time i'm sure uh, a lot of folks will uh, uh, see this and then of course if 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 you have any questions uh, for the folks who see this video, please ask a question or two. I'm sure that Stanislav and Alex will come back with an answer. Yeah. I think by by having this sort of engagement, we really uh, have the power of knowledge and experience as well. You know, and, and 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 I think that's wonderful. So thank you guys so much, and take care. Bye bye.